Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to go over our targeting system for our little hack and slash game. Now, you may notice I've gone back to Unity 2.61. Uh, there's a few little inconsistencies between Unity 3 and Unity 2.61, so I've gone back to 2.61 just so it's a little easier for people to follow along. Now, with that said, let's just dive in. So the first thing we want to do is click on our evil cubing. Let's turn off his enemy AI script, make sure it's unchecked. This way here, he'll just stand still and it'll be easier to gauge uh, how far away we are from him. Now let's duplicate him. On a Mac, you can press Command D, and on Windows, it's Control D, or you can right click and just duplicate. Now let's give him different names. So Evil QB1, Evil QB2, Evil QB3. And then let's move them around a bit just so that we can tell who's closer and who's further away a little bit easier. There we go. So Evil QB3 is the closest, followed by Evil QB1, then Evil QB2. So let's create our script. So we'll make it a C sharp script. We'll just call it targeting. Well, let's double click it to open up modern development. Rename our class to targeting. And then let's alt tab back and think how we want to do this. So if we look here, we have some mobs on our screen that we're going to want to be able to target. Now we're going to want to add these to some sort of list or something to hold all the mobs in that we can just iterate through them. Now the easiest way to do that would be to go back into mono development and we'll just create a list. We'll make it public for now. Uh, we'll call it list. Uh, not an eye list, just a regular list. Uh, it's not going to make us. Uh, we're going to need to add using system dot collection dot generic. Now it should have no problem with the list. There we go. And we'll want to tell the list that it's only going to accept transforms. Now later on when we actually make an enemy class, we can change this transform to be enemies. That way there we can only add enemies to this, to this list. But for now we're just going to use transform. We'll just call it targets. Then down in our start method we'll want to initialize that. So targets equals new list transform. Save that off. We'll notice there's no errors. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a method that will just take all of the mobs and add them to our list when the script first starts up. So let's create that one first. So we'll make it public for now because we'll probably want other scripts to be able to call this to tell it to add them all but it's not going to return anything. We'll call it add all targets. So let's call it all add all enemies. Okay, the way, the way this is going to work is we're going to iterate through all the game objects in the world, or at least in the scene. And if we click one of our evil cubies, we'll notice that it has a tag of enemy that we set from a one of the previous tutorials. So we're just going to look for this tag. So everything in our game world that has the tag enemy will add to the list. So we can do game objects. And we'll just call it, well it's going to be an array because there's going to be more than one. We'll just call this geo, it's just a throwaway value, equals game objects, or game object singular dot find game objects with tag and the tag we're looking for which was enemies okay so this is going to return an array of all the game objects with our enemy tags so now we'll just go ahead and add these to our list and we'll do this just by simply iterating over our array so let's start off with the for each loop 
small f. We'll create a game object, which we'll just call enemy. And we want to get the game objects that are in our array geo. We're going to add, we're going to create another method called add target. And what we're going to pass into this is the enemy transform. Because if you remember in our list here, we're just adding transforms to it. So we'll simply call the enemy dot transform. And that's it for that method. We'll go down and create this method over here, add target. So we'll make this public. It doesn't return anything. Add target. And its parameter will be a transform, which we'll keep calling enemy. Then here we simply call our list, which was targets, dot add, then what we want to add to it, which will be enemy. So that should be it. Uh, actually, our tag is wrong. We called it enemy, did we not? Select with enemy, yes. So the tag is wrong up here. Enemy. And we'll also, in our start method, we'll want to actually call this method that goes through and adds them all. So add all enemies. If we, if we forget to add this line when our game starts up, it will never call the all add all enemies and there won't be any in our list. So let's select our first person. Make sure our targeting script is attached. You'll know, notice here our, we have the size of our list of targets. So when we hit play, uh, nothing happens. So we did something wrong here. This is the variable go is assigned but never used. It helps if we save our script. Let's try it again. And there we go. We notice down here that we have a size of three and we have three elements. Now you'll notice that these elements are put into an order that doesn't really seem to make any sense. So it starts off with evil QB2, then it goes to evil QB3, then one. So it's going from furthest to closest, oops, sorry, furthest to closest to the minimum, to the medium one. We'll fix that a little later on to make it select the closest one first. So let's stop that. Go back to our script, and let's make something that allows us to target it now. So we're going to create a new method. We'll make this one private. It's not to return anything, so void. We'll just call it target enemy. It doesn't take any parameters. And just to start off with, let's say uh, well, actually, we're going to want something to store this in. So let's go up here and create another variable. We'll make it private. It's going to be a transform. And we'll call it selected target. All right, and down here, we'll start it off as selected target is equal to null. Just so that we know when the script first starts, we're not going to have anything targeted. So we'll go down here and we'll just say select a target. Equals, and we'll just grab the first one that's in our list. So that's target, and then zero. So we grab the first one. So if we start this off, Actually, let's, let's make this public so we can watch it for now. We need a way to call this target enemy. So we're going to use the tab key. So we're going to say if input dot get key down key code and we're using the tab key. That's what we'll call it. So we'll call target enemy. There. So now if we go back, no errors. 